Hey, what's going on out there, A-Beta of Illinois? Your state legislative coordinator, Josh Kukowski. Uh, coming to you with kind of a weird update, uh, something a little bit out of the norm. Uh, we started very early this year in the legislative season with a couple of weird bills dealing with electric motorcycles, of all things. And uh, you know, I know what you're thinking out there. What do we really care about electric motorcycles? You know, I can hear a lot of you. I'm never going to use one. I don't want one. You know, whatever that may be. Let's get this out of the way really, really quick. A Beta of Illinois exists to represent all motorcycles and all motorcyclists and all riders. We even include off-road. So that means that we represent electric motorcycles. And the other part of this is transportation is changing. The future is electric. That is the design of where transportation planners want to go, where basically anybody has anything to do with infrastructure wants to go. So we have to be ready to set the rules for electric motorcycles now. We can't wait for it to be on us when the rules are being set now. So fast forward to last week. We end up with an energy bill um, that's been being negotiated uh, 18 months or so uh, throughout, the, throughout the General Assembly. And a new version of it pops up last week with a definition of electric vehicles and it proceeds to talk about setting up commissions for looking at how we do charging stations, where those would be available at, trying to get people to adopt electric vehicles. But what really stuck out to abate is that there was a definition of electric vehicle. And that definition said that an electric vehicle needed to be licensed for use on the roadways, had to be fueled by electricity, and had to be able to be plugged in to be recharged. All things that electric motorcycles do. However, the next five words after that definition said, does not include electric motorcycles, specifically excluding electric motorcycles. So we've been working for the last 10 days to find out why this situation is, why this exists in the energy bill. And I'm going to come back to that. It has to do with the governor. We're going to cover it. But before we get to that, I'm going to show you just a quick video kind of showing what an electric motorcycle looks like. Uh, I, we've got a local zero dealer here in Springfield. So I was able to take one of his SRSs out and just kind of show the parts and show that, hey, this is a vehicle licensed for use on Illinois roadways and it does meet the criteria of electric vehicles as defined in this energy bill. Um, so real quick, here is that video. All right, so we have in front of us a 2021 Zero SRS electric motorcycle. Uh, currently, there's an energy bill at the Illinois House and Illinois Senate that says an electric vehicle, they're trying to plan for transportation infrastructure for electric vehicles, and it says that an electric vehicle shall be able to be plugged in and licensed for use on Illinois roadways, which this vehicle very clearly does, and we're going to show you that here in a minute. But the verse I thought I'd show you right here is the large battery on this one, the motor driving the belt to the rear tire. But as required in the bill, it wants a vehicle that can be plugged in. And here you will see there is a level two charger on these vehicles. Um, the interesting thing here is the energy bill specifically calls out and says shall not or does not include electric motorcycles. Even though electric motorcycles are able to be plugged in, even though they are licensed for use on Illinois highways, for some reason, people at the Illinois legislature who have written these energy bills do not want to treat electric motorcycles the same as electric cars and electric trucks when it comes to consideration of electrifying the transportation grid. Uh, obviously, that's going to be a problem for a Beta of Illinois. We're continuing to work on the situation, try to get the bill changed. But while I had the opportunity to show a zero SRS, I thought I would. And so there you have it. That just kind of shows what one of these bikes looks like. It plugs in using level two charging. If you're using a Harley Livewire, it uses level three charging. So since that video was made, which was just yesterday, this bill has undergone three different changes, three different bill numbers. It's actually getting ready to enter into its fourth bill number. Um, the fourth bill number, first three were House Bill 3666, then it turned into Senate Bill 18, then there was Senate Bill 1751, 
the last two over in the House. Um, now we're hearing as of this morning that there's going to be Senate Bill 2408. And in Senate Bill 2408, there's actually incentives for buying electric vehicles and for going electric. But those incentives specifically exclude motorcycles. And we we don't know it for certain. We've heard about it from other people involved with the bill um, because the actual language hasn't posted yet. But the one thing consistently we kept hearing about this exclusion on motorcycles was that it was the governor's office that wanted to exclude electric motorcycles from any kind of discussions or benefits regarding electric vehicles with regards to the energy bill. Um, so worked really, really hard uh, off and on during my off times from my day job to try to get confirmation on this. And lo and behold, late today, the confirmation does come in. The governor's office finally did cop to the fact that they are the ones that do not want electric motorcycles included in the energy bill. And their excuse for this is that there is a limited pool of funding in the bill and that they want to see electric vehicles adopted as a primary mode of transportation. A um, couple of problems there. One, uh, you've got them deciding what a person's primary mode of transportation is going to be. Uh, you know, I do know of families that use motorcycles solely as their primary mode of transportation. In fact, one of my uh, most active members in the local chapter of abate here, him and his wife, uh, before she passed on, that's all they used was a motorcycle. Uh, they would have been able to benefit from electric motorcycle incentive if they wanted to go electric, uh, especially being fixed income. Uh, on top of that, you also have the issue of now you have the governor's office stating one form of transportation is more valuable to them than another form of transportation. They basically are saying not all transportation is equal and that not all transportation should be treated equal. That should be a problem for anybody who is concerned with motorcycle rights. Um, up until this point in time, we've had an okay, uh, even mildly positive relationship with the governor's office. But to hear that they don't consider electric motorcycles to be equal or viable as electric cars and electric trucks, and they're actually wanting to specifically exclude electric motorcycles when it comes to planning, uh, because this, these energy bills do have planning components with regards to laying out charging stations and studying infrastructure and doing electrification of transportation grid. This is extraordinarily problematic because then you only have to wonder what other technologies will the governor's office consider motorcycles inferior to. Uh, especially as we get into the future of the transportation grid. So needless to say, this is something that we're going to be issuing out statements on, we're going to be working with, we're definitely going to be keeping our eye on. Uh, it was incredibly disappointing to hear it today, but it is what it is, and it's something that we felt we needed to bring to the membership and make them aware of this issue. Yes, it's something that's far out into the future, but when the rules for the future are being written now, the fight is now. It's not 10 years from now. And so that's what we're doing as a rights organization. We're trying to protect the future for everybody who will be riding then. Uh, if you have any questions, get a hold of us. My email's at the bottom there. Until then, keep staying tuned for future updates. See ya.